Upon his departure from the NFL, TJ found himself in the perfect position to help others. Losing his mother to non-Hodgkin's lymphoma in 2002 fostered TJ's drive to provide counsel and services for individuals and families facing the horrible disease. TJ has furthered his positive impact through the creation of New World Flood. Out of his vision to see young adults and athletic hopefuls become leaders in their communities. Another initiative of his work is Lunch for a Purpose, promotes lending an hour a week to projects and businesses benefiting his home state of Michigan. Please extend a big Atlanta Apartment Association welcome to Mr. T.J. Duckett. How y'all doing? Yeah! Yeah! Hey, you, you are a little more festive than I, I thought. I walked in, I hear the DJ going, I see people dancing. Had to look at where I was at for a second. <laughs> My name is Todd T.J. Duckett. I got about 20 minutes to talk to you. So, Hold up a sign when 20 minutes are up. But I do want to share that in these 20 minutes, things that I say will be for you, and they'll be for you. They'll be for you in the back, too. Not necessarily for you, but for you to share with somebody else, whether it's through your words or through your actions. The topic. I guess you could call it a topic. But what I've learned and what I believe is every person, when you are able to interact, and you all be in the apartment association, have a chance to interact with every body, every family, mother, child, the power of a moment. Now, if you don't hear anything that I hear say, understand the power of a moment. Your moment, every moment. And to understand and know that the power in the moment and what you have, you also have to understand what your self-worth and your self-value, what that means. Yeah, I played football for 20 years. I was able to be drafted by the Atlanta Falcons. I was able to live an NFL life. But when that was over, I was depressed and I had no self-esteem, no value, no worth at all, except what I was with an NFL helmet on. The moments in different people's lives when I was able to score a touchdown, when I was able to make a play, when I made a bad play, if you root it for another team, the moments in other people's lives that I created through football, I didn't understand. I didn't get it and I had no clue what it meant. And because of that, I had no clue what my value was as a person. When football was over, and I got a chance to look back at those moments, part of me was a little depressed. And that was because I didn't use the platform as an NFL athlete and as an African-American male. I didn't use my platform the way that it could affect moments, not just one moment on a Sunday. I'm talking moments. I didn't use that platform because I didn't understand it, I didn't get it. Once I stopped playing and I ended up in a world by myself, when the noise stops, when the fans stop cheering, when the checks stop coming, I had to reevaluate my whole entire life in one moment. And in that moment, I started to volunteer. I started to go to rescue missions. I started to go to underprivileged homes. I started waiting in parking lots to help carry people's uh, groceries. I started to do everything I possibly could to affect a person's life. Do you know that opening the door for someone can change the direction of their day? 
Do you know that walking up to someone and just giving them a high five can transfer positive energy from you and to them? Simple moves had nothing to do with my 40 time, had nothing to do with how handsome I am. <laughs> uh, this is my, I do have a beautiful fiance right here, so just know that. <laughs> but all those things, I had no clue. Started volunteering and getting involved. It's amazing that people, when they look at themselves in the mirror, it's amazing that they don't like what they see. When someone gets a chance to, to wake up and go to work, they hate it. And these things amazed me because here I am at the time playing a sport, a game, having fun, whatever, and these are the people that watched me. And these are the people who wanted to be like me, the kids that wanted to be like me, the adults sitting on the couch with a beer pretending to be like me, all these people. And I had no clue what I was, and they wanted to be like me. And I'll transfer that into your life, your fathers, your mothers, your sons and daughters, your business owners, your employees, your rocks in people's lives. And these people, they see you daily, whether it's at the dinner table, whether it's at Starbucks, they see you. They see you walking in with a frown. They see you walking in not happy. It's amazing how when Kimberly brought up the seven seconds to leave a, leave a uh, what, say it again? For, leave an impression. It's amazing that you have seven seconds to leave an impression. And she, she said that. It's amazing. That amazed me so much because I had, at that time, I had 28 years to make my own impression, and I couldn't. 28 years. I can't say I'm the youngest person in the room, but I'm sure there's some people who had a couple more years to look in that mirror and still have not fully appreciated the moment that they have to look in that mirror. The moment you look in that mirror, you're some, somebody's daughter, you're somebody's son, you're somebody's parent, neighbor, you're somebody's inspiration. But if you don't understand that, the moment is powerless. Not just for you, but for who's watching you. For who wants to be like you? Who wants to wear the nice green shirt? <laughs> who wants the awesome red tie? They want to be like you. And yeah, you may say, well, it sounds like he's talking about kids. Well, I know a lot of adults who don't understand what self-esteem and self-worth are. And it's okay. Part of understanding that was being a football player and realizing that there are other emotions other than toughness. I thought that was the only emotion that I was allowed to have was toughness. I realized that it's okay to cry. I realized it's okay to be a little shy. There's a time and place to be confident. There's also a time and place to shut up. But because I thought I was only one person, one football player in a box, I never chose to experience everything the world offered. Again, powerless moments. And these powerless moments, they eat at you. And they just take little bites. They just take little, little bitty bites. Yeah, you're not smart enough. Yeah, you're overweight. Yeah, you're losing your hair. All these moments, we empower. We let them take hold of our life, and we let them direct our path. But yet we have the key, we have the ability, we have the will 
and we don't do it. But we will from this day forward. When we leave here, we will have a different way we look at the moon. When we leave here and start our car, we may turn the music up. And when we get home and close the door, we will appreciate the fact that we have a home and a door to close. I was able, was that was 20 minutes already? <laughs> I was able to support, I've started to support a school in Africa. It's ages from two to seven years old. The things that we have been able to teach these young men and women in another continent, and the things that we have been able to, I guess, provide opportunities for them to build a culture, their own culture, their life, the things that we have been able to help others in another continent makes me understand that you take a bunch of these moments and you put them in a little bottle and you go and you share them endlessly everywhere you go, pouring everything out. When you do that, things start to change. We started out with 30 kids in our school. Young man named David Guido, he lives over there. He's walking from village to village. We started out with 30 people, 30 kids. Now we're almost over 100. From him taking advantage of his moments, knowing his worth, his value, going from village to village, from hut to hut, saying, I believe in you, and I believe you can have education. I believe in you, and I believe you will be able to be the future of this continent. One person, you've never heard of him, changing lives all over the place. Now here, you all know each other. It's beautiful, the conversation, everything. So if one person is lacking power at a moment, then another person can pick them up. I heard you have group leaders and teams. If one team is struggling, the other team is there to help. I would think, and if that's the case, you will have moments being built up all over this city. Moments that were created by everyone in this room and moments with the belief and the faith in your product and who you are, a moment that has been filled with so much power that your organization has no choice but to succeed, has no choice but to set the example. For I just found out that the, the food that you, the can-can thing, it's one of the best in the country. <laughs> yeah, woo, give it up for you, yeah. <laughs> I, just under, I just learned that. To me, that's everyone in this room having a belief in them and for the ability that they have to help provide food for those that are hungry. I started an organization called New World Flood, flooding the world through giving and service. I'm the rainmaker and you are my raindrops. Each one of you is an individual raindrop, a raindrop with purpose. Cloud in the sky, I don't know how many miles away they are. But up there, you got little raindrops forming. Raindrop comes, falls from the sky, lands on some vegetables. Raindrop comes, lands on your shoulder, you're like, is that rain? Then the other one comes, lands on your other shoulder. Yeah, yeah, that's rain, that's rain. Now, that raindrop started out millions of miles away but had a purpose to come straight down and whatever course it took on the way down, it landed on your windshield, landed on your shoulder. We didn't have a chance to choose our parents. We didn't have a chance to choose which cloud we were formed in, but we were formed. Now, a raindrop knows its purpose. Do you know your purpose? Do you know whose lives you're gonna enter? And when you know whose lives you're gonna enter and you know what your worth and value is, that's one raindrop of purpose. It's another raindrop of purpose, another person of purpose, another raindrop. Now you have a flood of change, a flood of people. 
a flood of power, a flood of moments that will change lives from this day until and until, but and until. But do you value yourself and do you value your moment, your space and time that you occupy right now? Do you value it enough to look in the mirror and say, this is my moment and I'm sharing it with everybody? And by doing so, you empower every person who can hear you. So I hope these 20 minutes will empower you to make a difference, not just in this city, but in the history of the world in a way that only you will continue to share your moments and empower your family, your employees, this community, and continue your fight and continue to know that regardless if you ever see my face ever again, ever again, that every moment that I step, I make sure it's the most powerful one. And when I'm dead and gone, the life that I live will be one that makes my parents very, very happy. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you.